Welcome back to the Bud Light pregame show. The Dust Devils tonight looking for the sweep over the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. And thanks in large part to Peter Tago, the start he had on Friday night of this five game series. And because of that, he just earned the Northwest League Pitcher of the Week. Congratulations on that. When did you hear about that honor? Um, no, I didn't, but thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, did I just inform you right there yeah. about the honor? Is this yeah. breaking news right now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is breaking news. I have not been informed yet. <laughs> well, you're in pretty good company. Mike Sanino, the third overall pick, who started for Everett, who played against the Dust Devils in that road series. He's the hitter of the week, and you are the pitcher of the week. So, congratulations. And let's just go back to that start you had on Friday night. Eight scoreless innings. Everything just must have been going right for you out there. Yeah, uh, Ramirez called a great game. The defense was uh, on their toes, and uh, they're swinging the bat, so nothing else you can ask for besides that. So. And we were joking about it a little bit beforehand, Rosel Herrera, your shortstop, you really kept him on his toes. He was quite a busy man. Yeah, I think it kind of helps when uh, everyone's just flowing and they know the game plan of the starting pitcher. So uh, I think he pretty much knew what was coming his way. But yeah, he made some excellent plays that night. And take us back through the start of this year. Maybe the results haven't been there in some of those early starts that you might have liked, but coming back and bouncing back in a great way here and that start on Friday. What's been your impression of your performance overall this season? Um, I mean, it's it's not bad. It could be better. It could be a lot better. But, I mean, it's all about preparation and coming out the next day and giving all you got and trying to get your teammates better in a positive way. And I feel like I've done that this season. And just because the season hasn't gone as planned, it doesn't mean that I can't come out here and keep working hard and keep helping my teammates get better. And what worked for you in that start? You look back at it and that's such a successful result. What do you pinpoint and say, well, that's what went well as opposed to maybe some of the starts that could have gone a little better? Um, for me, it would be fastball command, commanding inside and outside part of the plate, as well as um, you know my off-speed stuff. I wasn't really throwing too many off-speed you know, in the first half of the game. But then when I really needed to, I could you know drop in a curveball here and there and their strikes, so uh, it really opened up my uh, arsenal pitches, per se. And still a very, very young guy. Just turned 20 earlier this month. Last year, you started in the South Atlantic League, low A with Asheville, and you were only 18 when that season started. What was it like, I imagine, kind of like being thrown into the deep end of the pool? Yeah, it was definitely a, an experience playing in the Sally League, um, very hot and humid. Wasn't really expecting that, but um, yeah. It was, I don't really know what to say, but yeah, basically thrown in the deep end, you know. I didn't really know what to expect, you know, given that was my first year. But uh, turned it around this offseason, and um, well prepared this year. And I know there was a lot of excitement about the way you threw an extended spring training this year. Was it nice to maybe kind of catch your breath, and have a time to just be down there in extended spring training, maybe not all the attention on you, and to get that experience down there before coming up here for the season? Um, yeah, compared to last year and extended, I, I really uh, had an idea of what I was trying to accomplish as far as my delivery and uh, my pitch development. But um, this year in, in uh, extended spring, it was it was really nice to just buckle down and work with Dave Burba and uh, really get my delivery down consistent so that I can be throwing strikes, and it was a result of a uh, very nice game. And what do you do during the offseason? I know there's a lot of training that goes on for a baseball player in the offseason, and that's kind of your full-time job, but at the same point, I've had a lot of your friends are in college, just a 20-year-old 20 20 guy. Uh, what do you find yourself doing besides training during those winter months? Um, well, I'm going to be opening up my own gym this next offseason, and uh, a few of my business partners are making moves right now as far as charities, golf tournaments with friends, and uh, I think mean, some of the some of the business moves that we're making I can't really say, but you'll be hearing about it. So where is this gym going to be located, and what's the name? Is it going to be Peter Tago's gym, <laughs> ta 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 the ta Tago Gym? What's going to be called? Um, well, there's already a headquarters in San Juan Capistrano. It's called Redline Athletics. Um, you guys can go online and check it out. But um, it's, uh, the 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 branch off is going to be in um, I believe in Ladera Ranch. I'm not really sure uh, the location, but it's in the process right now. So it should be pretty fun. Well, very interesting. Have you always had the uh, entrepreneurial knack growing up? Is this something you always thought about, or maybe something after you signed your professional contract and thought, okay, what else can I do? Um, yeah, I think it was just always uh, working out at this gym that you know. Uh, that helped me, you know, peak my performance. Um, I just like being around kids and helping them, you know, get to, you know, chase their dreams and I don't know, do their best in whatever they pursue. 
but that's just me being me and um, I can I can see myself doing that in the future, not, you know, besides baseball. But as far as right now, um, I'm trying to get to the big leagues. So. Well, two big goals, getting that gym opened up, and like you said, focusing on the big leagues. Congratulations on being named Pitcher of the Week, and uh, continue good luck this year and with the opening of your gym coming up. Thank you. That's it. Peter Tago here on the Bud Light pregame show. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the scoreboard and standings in the Northwest League and bring you the starting lineups and first pitch between the Dust Devils and the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. You're listening to Tri-City Dust Devils Baseball on News Talk 870 KFLD.